Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am, am here to do a reading for Taurus for the second week of August. So this is for August 10th through the 16th. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 10th through the 16th. I'm going to tag the first week of August because I don't know about you, but they've seemed pretty accurate. Okay, first week of August is going to be tagged to the end of this. So what do we have for the second week? Boat. Money or property through an in in inheritance, winning, or windfall. So you're going to be getting some sort of property, Taurus. February. You might not get it till February. Or February is very prominent for you. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. Something is going to happen this week that brings you a windfall. You're going to win. Now, you might not get it until February, though. But you're definitely going to get some sort of windfall. We have it here twice. But I feel like what's going to happen is... There's something, I don't know, if something gets broken and you sue, if you, you know, I'm not sure, maybe it's some sort of insurance claim, you know, maybe there's some, you know, something like that, and you get some sort of big payout, but either way, it's some sort of windfall, a double windfall, okay, but I feel like it has to do with you receiving it in the month of February, whatever it is. So what do we have for Taurus? Interesting. I just grabbed one of them. I didn't even look and put it over there next to the hourglass and it was the broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to, the, to a problem. Time's almost up. So I don't know what that means. And it's interesting. Look at this February. It's the wind. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So there's that wow is right. So there's something about a windfall in February. And that's exactly the truth too. So what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for this week? Six of Cups reversed. The Devil. The Knight of Wands and the Emperor Reversed. So the Emperor Reversed is somebody that deserts you, somebody that is corrupt, could be a criminal. Crimin I can't speak, so please bear with me. <clears throat> Something new this week. Could be a criminal. This is somebody that is abusive, uh, not very experienced, very mean-spirited. Moving very, very fast, uh, doesn't think this person, there's, there's, there's things happening really fast this week. There could be, now the, the devil can be a disaster. It, it can. This, the devil can be anger, okay? There's materialism, there's self-indulgence, there's forcefulness, disaster. This could be addictions, it could be a death. This is toxic. It's unhealthy. So there's some sort of unhealthy behavior where somebody acts. I feel like there's recklessness here. May have something to do with children. Okay. Um, maybe that somebody made a poor decision. There's a lack of wisdom. Okay. With the emperor reversed. This is somebody who doesn't really want responsibility. This is um, criminal activity. Uh, somebody that is very entitled and is on the wrong side of the law, power hungry. And this is power hungry as well. So there is, there's something about power this week. The six of cups reverse is freedom from obligation. Okay. It is, uh, there's a lot of memories. Uh, maybe there's some sadness with the six of cups reversed. Um, now, this is needing therapy. Somebody may need therapy. Uh, nothing stays the same. There could be some child abuse or child neglect or uh, 
packing up and leaving home. Somebody may be leaving. Children may be leaving. Children could be going away, uh, going someplace. But the devil has to do with addictions, toxic bonds, um, somebody not thinking. And I'm not sure if it's you. Could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Could be a Capricorn. So you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn here. Whatever, and I don't know if it's two children or one, um, or something, somebody from your past. It could be somebody from your past as well. Either way, we got somebody here that is moving without thinking. They're not. They're not thinking. They're moving very, very fast. They have a big ego, a very big ego. So you're dealing with somebody who has a very, very, very big ego, and I feel like uh, they. They are not thinking before they act. Eight of Swords. Oh my God. Now the Eight of Swords is a victim mentality. This is a victim mentality. I may have somebody here that is sick. They are sick. And, and they could be mentally sick. Because swords are mental. You know. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is mentally ill. Or you know. There's somebody is sick. They may, it could just be a regular sickness. I'm not sure what it is. But this Eight of Swords is stuck. You know, they're trapped, they're stuck. Now, this is stuck in bed. Um, action is needed. Somebody is going to be taking action because this is action, but this is without thinking. It's action without thinking. They may have... Uh, this is bad news, put it that way, with the emperor in reverse. Now, you may be dealing with uh, a father figure, but I don't know. Death. Oh my God. So I'm not sure what is going on, but death is an ending. You may be dealing with a death. Okay. You and death is a, it, it's a death. Death is an ending, but endings lead to new beginnings. Okay. So, uh, death is a profound change. It's, it's a transition. It's an ending. So you're going to be dealing with an ending in your life that leads to a new beginning. Okay. I feel like this death uh, comes with uh, somebody uh, acting without thinking. You know, they do something without thinking. Um, and I'm not sure if it's if there, if ego or addiction is in the way. It feels like there's some sort of disaster here. And I'm not trying to scare you, Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Okay, I'm Taurus Gemini. But it may have something to do with... Um, somebody from your past or there's a lot of memories and I think it's sad because of the six of cups reversed you know I think there's memories you know that you are going to be coming up this week and I don't know if it's about your father or it's about your children or it's about your ex or there's memories that are going to be surfacing this week okay now devil is Greed. It's some sort of greed. Selfishness. The high priestess reverse. Now this is secrets being revealed. Somebody's been hiding something. The secrets are going to come out. There's been a, there's somebody's been keeping quiet. They've been keeping to themselves. Um, this is time alone. You may need time alone. You may need some time alone to go within. I feel like, uh, Maybe you've been ignoring your intuition or ignoring yourself. And I feel like this week you're gonna you should really take time to go within and listen to your intuition. Um now the the high priestess is somebody that is very solid solitude, you know, very solitary, very solitary, chooses to be alone. You may feel alone. There's going to be an ending in your life. Ooh, five of swords. There's going to be a battle of some sort. It's going to happen at the beginning of the week. Or at any time. You're, or when, from, from the time you watch this, it's going to happen soon after. Because of this five of swords and the six of cups. This is a battle. But this is the end of the battle. It's the end of the fight. It's the end of the road. Okay? This is... Uh, there's mental, I think there, you may be dealing with somebody that is mentally dysfunctional. And this could be re revenge. This is like all out war. It's a volatile situation. But somebody, 
you know, I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, the high priestess this is somebody that is not very spiritual. Looking for peace. You probably be, maybe you're just waiting for some sort of peace in your life. This is not heeding a warning and this is not listening to your intuition. So it's like you need to listen to your intuition. Make sure that you are this week. There is some sort of situation that is not healthy with a devil card. You're dealing either you're dealing with a person that is mentally dysfunctional, okay? Or they're sick and sick, you take that however you want it. They you know, they're sick. Okay, and they may have some hidden agendas. Okay, the high priestess reversed. They have some hidden agendas, and I think that you need to be careful. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but you watch these readings for a reading, a uh, reason. Okay, for a reading, yeah, for a reason. Um, there's some sort of unhealthy situation that is about to unfold, and with the devil right next to death, I mean, this could be a major ending in your life. Okay, this is a very significant ending that happens very, very, very fast. Okay, somebody could even, and I don't know if it's you, somebody may end up in the hospital. Okay, because this could be a hospital. Now, the emperor in reverse is somebody that is, it feels like we have, a, we have somebody here that is power hungry, that is very controlling, that wants to be in control, that breaks the law. Hmm. And maybe that's what this unsuccess, just happened to look at that when I said that. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Um, six of swords reversed. So yeah, there's this is a loss. It is a loss. It's not a win. Upright, you know, it's moving in the right direction. It's moving away. This is somebody that is reluctant to take a new approach very very troubled okay this is somebody that is troubled you are dealing and it's mental you are dealing with somebody that is very troubled okay think about the troubled waters and the six of swords i just took out the word waters this is somebody that is troubled this is an end you are dealing with an individual that is very controlling and they're troubled and they are uh, they see themselves as a victim um, they may be sick, they may be ill, and it could be mentally ill, and they are going to be doing something without thinking with that Knight of Wands. Okay, they're in a hurry. They are definitely in a hurry. Mm, what the hell is this? The moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gemini or Capricorn, but I said Gemini, so it came out. Um, Aries, Capricorn. Um, it feels like there's a masculine energy here. It does feel like we have a masculine energy here um, that wants to be in control. But then again, we have two feminines as well. Anyway, there's a lack of somebody listening to their intuition. Make sure that you're listening to listening to your intuition this week. We have something, somebody coming out of hiding, uh, getting a reality check. Okay, there is, a, and there is some sort of mental imbalance here. You're dealing with somebody that has a mental imbalance, and I feel like they all is not as it seems. Okay, I feel like something is going to be revealed. Um, whoever, and it could be. There's some sort of. Uh, <sighs> deception okay there's some sort of deception here and um there's addictions you have somebody here that has some serious addictions whether it's you or another person and i feel like these addictions are gonna come to the surface and something is gonna happen that is ends in disaster and i'm not trying to scare you i'm really really i don't i'm, I'm not I feel like there's going to be a, a serious battle, a fight of some sort. Somebody may end up leaving. They may end up leaving, packing, going away. This is too toxic. It's very unhealthy. Choosing to be alone. I just, I, I, I got to be alone. I, this is too much for me. So this is a, this is a transition. It's a transformation. It's an ending that happens very, very, very fast for you. It could. I, I don't know if it's a family member or, or. or 
uh, a partner that you're with it could be a whoever you're with it's somebody that is very very controlling it's like this person whoever we're talking about this person is is a narcissist they, they are this person is a narcissist they want to win they they won't consider any other approach and they bury their they bury their feelings with addictions and they see themselves as a victim always this person has a big ego. They are very boastful. This is a show-off. You're dealing with a show-off who really doesn't think. They, they, maybe they lack common sense. Anyhow, there's going to be a profound change with this person. And I think that uh, whoever you're dealing with is, is sick. They may even be... I, what I wanted to say was... Uh, what do you call that? Psycho, and I wouldn't say that you know. I don't. I hate. To, I'm not. I, I don't know why that kind of stuff comes out of my mouth. Um, you know, they they, and I don't think they're gonna hurt you per se, but they. I don't know. I don't know. Death is is a ending that leads to a new beginning after you have been in a situation that depleted you okay you've been depleted you've been depleted of energy by this person this person stole your energy and they probably made you feel comfortable they made you feel like you know they were taking care of you they weren't taking care of you they weren't they depleted you um so i think that uh, you may be choosing to be alone because I feel like there's a very unhealthy situation that is about to unfold that you probably are not aware of. Maybe deep down you see it, but you've been ignoring it. You've been ignoring your intuition. Maybe you've been being poked, you know, being poked, saying, you know, this is not healthy. You know, maybe you know that something isn't healthy and you've been ignoring it. Well, you're not going to be able to ignore it anymore. Okay, you're not going to be able to ignore it anymore. It is time. To, it's time. Is it up? Just about. Time's up. Time's up. The last strands are going through. Time is up. There's Time's up. That's just the way it goes. It's gone. It's over. They're done. Okay? So it's the end of being stuck. It's the end of, of being in this situation where... You know, you were tied down. You were definitely tied down. It's the end. I feel like, I feel like there is something that is about to happen that has been festering. It's been festering below the surface. It's been ignored for too long. It feels like now it's over and I think it ends really, really, really fast. Okay. Um, the Knight of Wands is reckless behavior, okay? Somebody d does something without thinking, okay? They act without thinking. Um, they move really, really fast. This is somebody, and we have lust here. This is somebody that is very egotistical, you know? So there's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed or some sort of secrets, definitely secrets that are about to be revealed. Something is, is going to be revealed that causes a profound life change okay your life is about to change death is an ending it's a separation or a loss but this separation and loss is 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 from something that is very unhealthy it's unhealthy it's toxic it's it's not good for you it's 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 based on illusion, okay? It's it's not good. It's made you sick. It's over. So there is a major ending here. There is. And you're going to need to you're probably going to be um starting a new life. That's starting a new life. Let's get one more card. Let's clarify that death card. It's an ending. Ending of an unhealthy, toxic bond. It's over. It is over. One more card. Ace of Wands reversed. So this is uh, going south. Maybe you're going south. Maybe you're moving south. I don't know. Um, something is about to go down. Okay. Somebody may be falling down. Uh, 
there's a lack of growth here. There's something not materialized, be, being unmaterialized, not, this is not going to uh, excite you, put it that way. Whatever this ending is, it has weighed you down and it has made you sick and it's over. It's over. Definitely letting go. Four of Pentacles on the bottom. It's time to relax. It is. You may feel relief when this is done. This is relief. You may, it, even though I feel like this is going to be difficult, I think you're going to feel relief. This is going to help you. This is fear. You've been in a state of fear. I think this is going to release your fear. This is going to bring you relief. Whatever is, whatever ending is happening is going to bring you relief. And I think that you're going to get some sort of payoff in February. Okay? You're going to get some sort of payoff. Maybe it's wrongful death. I don't know what it is. But I think that you're, you know, you're going to get some sort of reward out of this terrible situation, whatever it is. Um, all is not as it seems, but something is about to be revealed that changes your life. Something that has been weighing you down. Is getting caught or some or it's ending okay it's over good luck